Okay, we're here. Uh, tell us your name. My name is Jim Woodhead. Um, I'm showing uh, SQL Mirroring. That's our product that mirrors the Mass90 databases over in SQL. So what happens is after you install the programs, it automatically links the databases back to SQL. So every time you're writing and updating any database in Mass90 or 200, it automatically updates it in the system. The neat thing about this is that all of your uh, ad hoc crystal reports can use the SQL database as opposed to the uh, standard ODBC. So you get, if you've worked at all with the SQL, it's so much faster. And you can write on your, you can write views and links and left outer joins, right outer joins. All the SQL capabilities are available for you when you, when you get into this product. So it's a, it's just a, it speeds up reporting. And it gives you capabilities for trying to combine non-common data. For example, at a client, they wanted some information from the sales order file and the AR history file. So I did a union. I created a, uh, a query for the sales order. I created a query for the uh, AR invoice history. And I unioned them together. And now I have a report with all the sales order and all the history and all the invoices together. So I can build columns. Here's your access sales. Here's your book sales. And you can add, I've added uh, um, extra tables into SQL, for example, date tables, so you can put in weeks, so you can get weekly reports. And uh, it's just a, it's now, a fantastic now, product. This works in real time, right? Like you set it up and it sucks the data in constantly. It's a full, it's a full time link. So oh. anytime, you're, it, anytime you're doing any updates to the, the file from inside of Mass, it's automatically updating the record are deleting it. If you delete records, it deletes it from the table. And it's a it's a real-time link. Show, can you show us where it's set up on Mass90, like the Mass90 setup screen? Yeah, definitely. It, once, once you install it, uh, it adds, uh, it's very easy, it adds two new items on the setup menu in Library Master. And there's two new items. There's SQL mirroring options, which sets up the, the, sets up the link, the DSN, if you will. And then there's the mirroring selection, where you go into that, I'm just going to click into it, and it's just a matter of picking which companies. So I'm going to pick the ABC company. And then you have all your different modules, and it works with business framework and non-business framework. So uh, we'll go into accounts payable, for example, or let's go to accounts receivable. I've already linked a couple files. So you'll get your files, uh, all your file names, and this is a menu similar to the uh, rebuild files. We kind of use that, the, uh, the screen for that, but it has all the files that you have out there. So all the files that are in mass are, are on here with the description. And then have, we have two columns. We have a mirror column and a, and a synchronized column. The mirror turns it on, and the synchronized allows you to sync it at a later point. For example, if you crash or something happens and the mirror were to disconnect and they were, not, they, they, they were unsynced, then you can just go in and resync it. So, for example, I can come down to here and I, um, maybe I want the deposit history. I'm doing a report and I need that in a file. I just, uh, I just click on here and it notice it automatically clicked the synchronize because it needs to do that the first time. And then it goes through. I just click proceed. And what it's doing right now is over in SQL. If I bring up my SQL. Here's the tables I've mirrored already. So as soon as that's done syncing, that table, this is uh, the... Uh, this is a management studio. So these are all my sync tables. I can go into here and just refresh, and now it's added that new table in here, the, the deposit history, and I can right click and open the table. And there's nothing in this table, but all the data, when you go into here, you would see all the different data. So the neat thing is you can go in here and, and go in and create a new view, create, create a new query, and uh, start pulling data. For example, if you wanted reports from multiple companies together, you could have multiple, bring through multiple companies, and then you create a new view and you just union all those together. So now you have a, a, a SQL table with all your companies. Good. Price. What's the pricing on this? Price and we availability. Know, we've lowered our price. Our price is uh, $3,500 for, for, uh, for the product. We have, we have our 25th anniversary special going on. We're selling for $2,500. Now, does that cover all the companies you have in mass, or is that per company? That's all companies. So that's, there's no user count and no company. So it's, it's system specific.
Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.